Hi darlings, this is Christine at Makeup Box FYI and today I have another This or That series. So honestly, the This or That is probably going to be Chanel and Dior battling it out. Like they're going into the ring, they're fighting, they're going to see who's going to win this dual match. Chanel and Dior are battling out, they're in the ring and the first round goes to Dior. So the mascara area goes to the Dior mascara. Um, ultra curl the iconic over curl so if you haven't seen that watch the video I did talk discuss two of those different mascaras so today we're gonna go uh, so today we're gonna battle in the matte lipsticks so let's get started so the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Dior um, 720 in the what is it now this is a limited edition, but it's only because it's the Mother's Day version, but this is a regular color they always have in their line. So 720 Iconic Velvet. I was perusing, you know, um, online, which is always naughty because there's always something interesting, but I saw this color that I thought was gonna be the most gorgeous pink. You know how I feel about pink. It's dear to my heart, I love it. And I'm always looking for I shouldn't but I'm always looking for a cool pink right and so I don't have a pink matte and so it's like oh let me get a pretty deeper like sexy pink and when it arrived it was not sexy pink so I would say that's one thing about Dior's website they need to get it together and make the colors a little more true to color so this is the packaging it's beautiful sleek got that CD and I did use it so one thing that it did have is that little it had a little Dior um, sign on the actual lip but look at the beautiful floral pattern so this is for Mother's Day now if you don't care about this please just get the regular one but look how pretty it is right this color is not just the color, but the actual design is gorge. So, let me show you what this actually looks like, okay? So, upon applying it, buttery, smooth, ooh, it feels so good, okay? Like, you see how slick that was? Slick, like, Loved it. I try not to use the other side because I don't want to ruin those flowers. But it's nice because it's easy to align them with the curve of the actual tube, the lip tube. But do you see this color? This is not pink. This is definitely like terracotta. Brick red, not pink. I, do you see pink? So yeah, for that purpose alone, I was really upset and I was really close to returning it, but I found that I can put a pink lip liner because I have a lot and kind of play with the color and it, it was beautiful. And I really like the formula. It smells a little bit like, um, they all have similar smells. Oops. But this one in particular smells, it's hard to exactly say, but it's got a sweet smell. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love their smells of their lipsticks, but you know, to each his own. Um, but this one's not as offensive. It's very slight. You don't smell it when you're actually wearing the lipstick, just when the tube is actually out. It's beautiful, and you saw how it applied, it was gorgeous. So, so now let's test Chanel. Okay, so now this is the Chanel tube. Oops, very sleek, as you can see. That is how they do it, nice and black, subtle. You pop this little side, and out comes the tube. So it gets a little confusing because you're, you're used to the tube like coming out like this, and the Chanel sign should technically be the other way. But that's not how it works, okay? This is um, how it works, okay? So this color, I will say, 
is very true to color. So you can see there's a little, still the Chanel's little embossment on the actual tube. There's no special, nothing special. And these are both, which I love, are always in rotation on the website. This is called Endless, and this is in the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme. So this is a beautiful pink color. And so let me just show you what it looks like. So and then you can see me putting it on takes a little more effort. It's a little thicker of a formula. Uh, still smooth, still creamy. And look how it gives your lips that feathered, fluffy look without looking dry. So as you can see, it definitely had like this pinky mauve look on the website and it was actually very true to color. So both are beautiful. They both have the same amount of product, 0.12 grams. Um, the Dior claims to have peony and pomegranate flower extract enriched with lip care. And the Chanel website stated that they actually have sweet almond oil, um, a safflower oil. So there are also oils in this one as well. They're different. They just have different type of moisturizers. Um, this one claims to be 16 hours of comfort. Now I have worn this already. And at work I can tell you it's comfortable wearing. Both are. Um, this one lasts a little longer. And I think that's because it is a little thicker that it does last longer versus this one that's a little smoother, a little creamier, a little richer, also a little more emollient comes off. They're both not transfer resistant, okay? They both will come on a mask or any of those things you eat, you drink, it's gonna, you're gonna need to reapply, but both are wonderful for matte lips because, you know, Matte lips, like let's say Kylie matte lips, is great for younger people with, um, you know, uh, lips that still have a lot of moisture to them. But for us, you know, these, these women who are growing in wisdom and grace, we, we need moisture, okay? The, the dry matte look is not it for us. So I thought these two in particular um, were great options and, you know, now that you're getting older, you know, you invest more in your skincare, you also have to invest more in your makeup because the makeup that was a little cheaper doesn't actually apply the same on aging skin. So I've learned that over the past course of what, three years since I turned 35. So yeah, I hope this helped. I love them both, but I will say because the Chanel is more true to color on the website and it lasts longer, they win. They win this round, okay? Uh, I'm sure it won't be the only round. Um, you know, we're gonna have to definitely have a tiebreaker between them, but so far, one and one. So uh, I hope this helps. Um, you're purchasing in the future, but like I said, they are both in regular rotation and not special editions, so you can get them at any time, no rush. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, beautiful week, and I will catch you very soon. All right, darlings, have a great one.